Well, welcome to my next video. Thank you for clicking in. Uh, do something a little less complex this month. Uh, this week, I'm sorry. Uh, got so much going on. It's summertime and I'm behind on mowing because it does nothing but rain, even when it's supposed to be hot and dry. We're having a very cool summer, comparatively so, but and a lot of rain and thunderstorms. So it keeps me uh, busy cleaning up stuff and mowing and various things and along with other problems. So I'm trying to do something a little less complex, but uh, I've got a purpose of this. It's going to be a gift for someone. It's my intention right now if it works out. So what I got is a big chunk of ash. This is the cutoff piece of this piece. That's ash. I bought this from a vendor on uh, eBay and uh, he sells a lot of guitar body blanks and I think probably this is a cutoff or something he couldn't use uh, for that purpose or sell for that purpose. So uh, this pattern I'm going to use comes out of this book, Fun and Easy Scroll Saw Project by Patrick Spielman. And this is a big heart shaped box, about as big a box as I've ever made. And there's the pattern for it. Uh, make two copies of that pattern and you make the whole project with it. He's not real generous with instructions. It's mostly a little diagrams and pictures, but this is the way I'm going to approach this. He used, uh, he said, well, you use whatever thickness you can put on your saw to make as big a, deep a box as you can. And, uh, so what, and this should be 3 sixteenths or quarter inch. So what I've got here, this is an inch and seven eighths. Now it's going to be tough to cut because ash is pretty, pretty uh, dense, but I'm going to try to try to do it with this. So what I've done uh, is I've cut a piece of this that the pattern will fit on, and that's the size that he recommended right there. And so what I've got also taped to the bottom of it is a piece of one eighth inch Baltic birch. Now I've got something else added on top of that Baltic birch. I'm not going to get into that right now. If it doesn't work, I'm going to discard it. But it's something I want to show through the fretwork on this uh, lid. So I'm going to go in and cut this dotted line. I'm going to mount the pattern and cut this dotted line first. Drill an entry hole right there because this is going to be the internal part of the box. And that'll cut the inside of the box out. And the reason I got that plywood on there is it also cut that at the same time so it'll match this hole perfectly. And that'll be the underneath part of the lid which holds it on the box. So then when I get that done, I'll leave the pattern mounted and I'll take that plywood off and then I will glue another piece of plywood on and cut the outer edge. So when I get done, hopefully it all cuts nice and smooth and straight. When I get done, it will be the, the body of the box with the, the bottom of it already attached and cut perfectly to match. That's my intent. And tomorrow I'm getting in some mahogany that I bought that I'm going to use for the lid. So then I'll have another pattern I'll mount on the lid and I'll cut it out and uh, do, the, do the fret work and then cut it out. But I'm going to probably put a finish on it because uh, the material I've got on the front of that plywood that's on there right now, I don't want to put finish on while it's there. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen with this. I may change my mind when I get certain steps in this. It's going to be kind of an organic project. But anyway, uh, the biggest thing on this is this fretwork. And in his, he had it painted red underneath that. Well, I'll tell you what I'm trying to do is get a mirror behind it. And I've got some, uh, some peel and stick laminate mirror on that piece of plywood. And that may not work. Uh, it may not look right, and it, it may not, it just may not work, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't hurt anything to try it, it didn't cost me anything much. And if it doesn't work, I'll just paint it red like he did, or some contrasting color, and finish the box that way. So these two cuts, these first two cuts are probably the hardest to do. They're going to be really thick, and that's a very dense wood. I'm going to put a big blade as I've got on it and cut it very slowly and carefully. So. Let me get the pattern mounted and get it over the saw with a new blade and we'll see if I can even cut this.
Okay, I got the inside cut done. As I expected, it bowed just a little bit. It's just enough that you have trouble getting it out. So I had to cut a little bit of the edge off to get it out. And so now, I've glued this plywood on the back of it. And I'm going to cut the outside line. And uh, then hopefully the, the, the body will be done. I may have to do a little sanding. There's something in there I had to sand. But uh, I broke two blades getting around that, out, that inside cut. And um, I'm moving very slowly and carefully with this because it's very dense. And uh, we'll make sure I don't burn up the blade and cause other problems here. So, like I say, I broke two. Uh, broke one before I got halfway around. I made the other one all the way through, but I broke it trying to get the, the piece off the blade. So, you know, I got a fresh blade. I've still got plenty if I need to change it out again. So I'm going to come in and cut at top and bottom a little bit so if it does bow just enough that don't want to come out I won't have to worry I can cut it off then okay so I've got the body of the box cut out with the bottom attached to it all cut out at the same time I've done some preliminary sanding got some more to do had a little bit of a bulge here I brought down still got a little bit out here got to clean this up a little bit and in there but that's just a little bit of sanding and that'll be uh, ready to go so I got my uh, material in for the rest of the lid and this is where all the work really is got all this fret work to cut that's mahogany it's fairly easy to cut I'm going to do it with the number three blade. I've already got all the holes drilled. And then when I get it cut out, I'm going to put the finish on it. Because I got the, uh, got the piece that I'm going to try. i got to get all the dust off of it. And I'm going to, I'm going to try that under it. I don't know if it's going to work or if it's going to look good. But uh, I'm going to have to trim some of that off the edge so I make sure I get the glue on, on between the woods and not between them the uh, the mirror uh, sheet I want to make sure it's all glued together good so anyway I'm gonna get this over the saw get my number three blade in it and we'll start cutting it up I got the fret work done. I'm going to cut the outline. I'm going to cut a little extra outside that. Not much. Blade width a little better. So I'd rather sand the lid down to fit the box than vice versa. And then I might want to round the top of it a little bit when I get there anyway, but I'll give myself a little extra to make sure I match up pretty well.
All right, so I got the fretwork done, and I put a finish on that because I didn't want to put a finish on that after I glued it to the mirror part, the backing part. So what I've done here, because I want this to line up, everything to line up properly, is I've got some little spacers that I built. I hold that up uh, while it's, keep it just proud of the lip of the box while it still stays on the inside so it'll be aligned. It'll all be in a proper alignment. We'll get it set in there where it needs to be. Put a little glue on that. I got to cut some some of the mirror off so I can get wood to wood. And I'm gonna put some just a little bit of glue on that, not a lot, and kind of get it on there where it'll stay, and then I'll pull it off and clamp it. And uh, then it should it lines up pretty nicely with the outside. I didn't have to do much sanding on it. It's a good thing I cut it a little extra wide. It wasn't much about a blade width. So I'm gonna get me some glue and uh, just very lightly glue that on and uh, clamp it down and let it sit for a little while. Then we'll see how it fits. Well, that worked successfully to get that backing on that uh, on the lid. It fits nice and tight. It doesn't have any slack. You got to get it just right, put it in place, which is kind of the way it should be. So I'm very pleased with it. It kind of got the effect I wanted. Would have been even better with a thinner wood, I think, but it works out just fine. Lid matches up almost perfectly. It's got a little bit of slack there. You can line it up really, really well. So, and I didn't have to sand it much. It's pretty much when I cut it, it fit. So I'm thinking I'll get me some tissue paper and some chocolates to put in that and make a nice gift for somebody. So if you like that, hit the like button. And uh, I, got, uh, I got another book on making bowls. This one you use a router in conjunction with it. I got to do some studying. I got to build some jigs for the router. And I may cover all that in a video if I ever get to that. It's going to be a process of learning it. But that's this week's video. Uh, I really like that little box. Like I say, he had it painted in his project. He painted that background red. Well, I got this mirror in. I thought, I'll try that. If it don't work, I can rip it off and put something else. Well, I'm going to leave it like that, I think, for now. And so hit the like button if you like that. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And uh, I like boxes. I hadn't made a box in a while. And this is probably the largest box I've ever made. It was a very difficult cut on that real thick wood, but I made it work. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.